Welcome or welcome back, Chumba. If you're new to Cyberpunk or revisiting, I'm going to tell you right now, you're in for a treat. The modding scene has matured tremendously since the game's inception, and now, being 2024, we have some of the most talented and dedicated modders that continue to elevate this game. So if you're rebuilding from scratch or looking to polish up that mod list from gameplay to immersion, these are my top 35 or more mods that everyone should have on their mod list. Looking your best means everything in Night City. Doesn't matter if you are sly ex-corpo, a mean street kid, or a hardened nomad. You ain't anyone if you're not repping cream styling. Which is why our first mod is Appearance Change Unlocker. This great mod allows you to create character presets and save them allowing you to freely customize multiple looks for your V and load up whenever you feel like it. These even persist into a new save so you can load up the perfect look that you've spent hours creating. Another neat feature is that it unlocks all character creation options without the need to go to a ripper dock. Especially useful for anyone who has hundreds of unique face, hair, makeup, cyberware, you name it mods available on the Nexus. Throw in the mod Dirt Be Gone also while you're at it, as it'll clear up the mirrors in-game so you can inspect all of your handiwork. Now to dress yourself. You can't be walking around Night City naked, Chumba. But what about that limited wardrobe though? Just six slots? Nah, that ain't it. With Equipment EX, this powerful transmog system allows for 50 plus slots that you can play with. 50. Many, many fashion mods now come with multiple pieces in numerous slots. If you can think of a body slot, this mod has it. Want gun holsters? Do it. Wristwatch? Why not? Chokers and neckties? Groovy. Now you can overlay to your heart's desire to achieve the perfect look. Check out my recent Ada Wong inspired V. Not a bad look. Very smooth. Equipment EX also allows you to access your wardrobe at any time in your menu and utilize it to make any number of presets, even allowing you to rename those presets for ease of use. A must-have mod. So, you look great, Tune, but what about some photos? If you're anything like me, taking in-game screenshots is something of a pastime. With Appearance Menu Mod, this great tool allows you a much better photo mode. With the ability to spawn companions, spawn objects, heck even decorate your house or companions, you can even pick and save outfits for them and that's just the tip of the iceberg. These companions can do whatever you want. Want to have them tag along on your adventures? Go for it. Want to pretend you're playing sims? Do it. Unleash that creativity. Spawn decor make your NPCs dance, whatever. If you can think of it, you can. There's even add-on mods out there that add more poses and animations too. Then once you're done, you can set up cameras and enter director mode. Light the scene, change FOV, tilt, pan, freeze time, even change the weather, etc, etc. This is the way I use to capture footage for these videos. Also, shout out to the mod Free Fly No Clip. Another mod that I use for these landscape shots. Nifty also if you do get stuck and need to no clip out. Appearance menu mod has so many more features, so make sure you check it out. Alrighty, now that you have all of the fashion tools and utilities out of the way, let's fine tune some of those custom meshes and textures. And when it comes to female V, there are plenty of choices available. Big booty, small booty, thick, strong, you name it. It exists. With keeping in the middle ground, I did opt for BTK Femme V. This mod keeps it more in line with the vanilla body shape, meaning vanilla clothes as well as custom fit clothes will fit without hassle, which gives you more choice overall for fashion. See? I gotcha. These meshes have a higher poly count compared to vanilla or aiming for a more toned look. Nothing too crazy. This will even help out with some of those jagged lines to provide a much cleaner look when it comes to the details. Another great feature that this mod has is the ability for swapping to high heel feet on the fly, if you have any other mods that utilize that feature. This mod is also very modular, with the ability to choose head, body, arms, 
and cyber arms, meaning you can mix and match other body mods. Do I mention the newly sculpted private parts? Go on, have a cheeky peeky at it. Now, let's complement those meshes with a fantastic skin mod with 4K new female complexions and better NPCs. This works flawlessly with VTK FemV and helps bump up those details in the skin. We're looking at higher detail textures and subsurface scattering to give it more depth and realism. On top of that, we also have increased detailed blemishes and micro details. I mean, the mod author even touched up the nostrils. Nostrils. That is dedication. And the results speak for themselves. There are two options for the skin, one being more imperfections and the other having minimal to no imperfections. This can apply to just V and other NPCs. I'd say just pick both. Now for male V, we have masculine V body overhaul. While there are other styles out there, again, we're sticking to a more vanilla-esque look. This fantastic all-in-one for both meshes and textures will make your V look more, well, masculine. A strong boy, if you will. You'll have plenty of choices on how to set this mod up with various options for smooth to more muscular, abs or no abs, and plenty of choices for hairless to different styles of body hair. The textures are also bumped up to 2K compared to vanilla's 1K and the details look great. The subsurface scattering provide a much needed layer of depth and complement the textures immensely. The highlights and shadows really emphasize V's physique. And we can't discuss body mods without talking about dongers, can we? There are so many choices here. Go nuts. Literally. Moving on to hair, we have cream hair. A high-res hair retexture with a modified alpha mat to provide a more detailed look to hair strands. This mod also reduces the specular highlights to provide a more softer, diffused and clean looking hair. Add on a mod alternative hair material to change the parameters responsible for scattering of light and intensity. And seriously, what a difference it makes. Hair now looks less plasticky, with the light bouncing off hair while boosting shadows to the roots. This provides more depth overall to the character models. I mean, the best way to describe it is you're turning on ambient occlusion or hair. Just look at these and you'll see what I mean. Cream, right? Moving on to some quality of life mods, this next one is an absolute game changer. Introducing Immersive First Person, a mod that improves the overall look and feel of the camera, providing a more improved body presence. The camera is shifted and now when you look down, there's clearly a visible player torso. So now you can check out your outfit or boomer or donger or whatever. Honestly, having played with this for years now, every time I reinstall Cyberpunk, the vanilla camera feels so weird without this mod. Another great feature is the ability to free look and rotate your camera without moving your body. Great when you're walking or running and not having to stop to look around. While we're here playing with our camera, make sure you grab Better Vehicle First Person. This nifty little mod changes the FOVs in vehicles for better view, essential for anyone that loves driving around in first person. Presets can be set per vehicle, including options to change sensitivity for steering. No more oversteering into walls, right? One final camera mod to tie things together is CoolCam, immersive vehicle cameras affecting the position and behavior of the third-person camera, providing a much more pleasant driving experience. Changes have been made to the position and boom arm elasticity to remove that sticky feel. There are options to also remove the auto-centering behavior. As someone who likes to look around while driving, this is a much welcomed change. The close and medium camera has a slight over-the-shoulder offset to provide more view of what's in front of us. With a longer distance camera having a higher angle, it creates an illusion of speed. Slope following behavior has also been added back to all vehicles, so you don't have to mess around the camera when you're driving up or down hills. All of these changes provide a much smoother driving feel, especially sliding around without having the camera snap back behind a vehicle is enough alone to get this mod. 
Now, one of the things I thought they would have added by now is the ability to buy cars and bikes in different colors and styles which is why Vehicle Customizer makes an appearance on this list. A simple mod that allows you to change the color and or variant of the vehicles you own. This is done through Cyber Engine's tweak menu with a drop down of your current car or bike. It basically replaces the vehicles with any pre-existing models from the game. While it's not super immersive, like going to a garage to do it, at least it persists through saves so we can pretend that we bought it that way. Onto some great mods that change some of the core aspects of what I feel is a better direction. First up, we have Cyberware EX. In the vanilla game, if you opted to spec into Sandevastan or Berserk, you needed to forego your cyber deck. This impacts two things in a negative way. Removes the ability to use any hacks and disables the use of terminals. While I love the idea of picking and choosing builds, having pros and cons, this just completely removes two gameplay elements from the game. This mod unlocks slots for a few body parts, while I opted to keep it minimal by allowing another slot for Sandevastan and or Berserk. Other features is allowing multiple implants for eyes, arms and leg slots. Go full Borg! There are even options on how these features function, whether you choose to have them unlocked via perks or buying new slots from the Ripper Dock. This is another fun way to play the game and have a bit more freedom. The choice is yours, Tomb. Now that we've added more slots and abilities, the next mod on this list is Custom Quick Slots for Consumables. Another improvement to the quality of life by allowing custom quick slots for your consumables, grenades, and any of your cyberware abilities. Not much more is needed to be said, but having the ability to consume foods and drinks without having to open up your menu keeps the flow of the game. The mod even is clever enough to choose the foods based on their quality level in which you can customize in-game. It even prioritizes cat food to last, so you can keep that for nibbles. Also, why are we eating cat food? Yuck! Grenades also have the same treatment, allowing you to slot in a frag, flash, or incendiary on the fly. Even cyberware abilities and buffs can also be slotted on a separate key for each function. How good is that? Two more quality of life improvements is Unlock Me a Slot and Unlock Me the Mods. Covered in past videos, but the TLDR, it provides you some slots for your iconic weapons to be customized as well as allowing you the ability to remove weapon mods and change muzzles and scopes. This feature was removed for the 2.0 update, meaning you were stuck with lesser versions of weapon mods or you didn't use them until the end game to not waste them. This just defeats the purpose of playing the game only to not use another built-in mechanic unless you didn't care about weapon stats. Now that you can freely customize your weapons, let's add another small but immersive change to combat. If you played any stealth build, you would have noticed that silenced weapons were pretty much useless as would often trigger combat. With silent silences and throwing knives, enemies will enter the alert state and start looking for you while you can remain hidden and harass them to your heart's content. This mod also balances out the gameplay by removing cover protection and having increased enemy vision if you don't kill your target in a single shot. Fully customizable in-game, you can adjust the features of the mod such as distance from which enemies will always enter the combat state for both knives and firearms as well as buffs and debuffs play the game how you want. One final touch to combat clarity, let's add Prem Scanner and Prem Scopes. Also featured in past videos if you wanted more detail, wink. But a quick rundown, both these mods remove what I feel is a visual nuisance. Prem Scanner basically removes the tint when you use the scanner and is highly customizable with different reticles of your choice. And Prem Scope removes the green tints and noise from scopes for increased gameplay flow and visibility when aiming down sights. Prem. Now that you can see your enemies and kill them, the one thing you might have noticed is the ragdoll animations are at times stiff and rigid, often collapsing into a boring A pose with a stiff leg or knees bending the wrong way which is why Ragdoll Physics Overhaul falls on this list. This mod revamps the way NPCs are handled by increasing flexibility and weight of the joints to produce a more natural looking death animation. The poses are now procedurally generated depending on how the enemies were killed as well as fixes to self-collision issues. And the result? 
bodies feel more weighty and lifelike compared to the floatiness that occurred previously. Again, it's one of those small changes that really impact on the game greatly. Definitely set and forget. Cyberpunk is still quite a visually intensive game, especially with ray tracing or path tracing that can still crush the most powerful GPUs. Maybe one day we'll be able to run this game on maximum, but until then, I'll take Cyberpunk Ultra Plus, better path tracing and stutter hotfix. This mod boasts 40% faster path tracing with a slew of fixes that increase the performance of this game. It's like downloading more power. I don't want to pretend I know the ins and outs of this extremely technical mod, but after extensively testing it, I've been able to run a much smoother Cyberpunk with ray tracing enabled. Path tracing is something my 2080 Ti can't handle, so I haven't been able to try that feature out so much. But with the comments of the users on the Nexus, there is a lot of praise to the increase in performance. There are multiple options to choose from when downloading this mod. For the non-ray trace users, to ray tracing, to partial path tracing, to full path tracing. These all promise to improve performance for many features in the game. Shadows, skin, hair, and specular are all enhanced without loss of quality. When it comes to ray tracing and path tracing, there's been a better implementation to the way light bounces. It comes with many options to improve memory as well as reducing stutters. Check this mod out and have a good read through the features before installing the right version for you. Make sure to also grab the mod Ultra Fog, Steam and Bloom which is intended to be used together. It'll create a much nicer fog and steam visuals and will fix a bunch of overly bright issues caused in the vanilla game. All of these work in tandem with any of the features from Cyberpunk Ultra Plus. A win-win combination. A huge upgrade to visual and lighting comes in the form of Nova Lut Pure. We spoke about this mod in depth in a previous video, but a quick rundown of it, as I feel it is a much needed boost to the visuals of Cyberpunk. Color graded in AGX Color Space, a technique that produces more realistic light calculations, taking into account of the materials and reflective surfaces, diffusing light without harsh transitions. All of these together enhance the image quality. TLDR and buzzword, photorealism. But I mean it when I say that. Take a look at all these images on the mod page itself. Some just look too real, especially with path tracing enabled. I've been running this mod for well over a month and this is one of my favorite visual changes to Cyberpunk without any performance loss, usually found in a reshade. This entire video is also recorded with Nova Light Pure throughout, so you will have plenty of examples to make a choice if you want it or not. But do it Chumba, it's real Nova. These next collection of mods by Deceptius are all fantastic quality of life to the game and just because I'm going to rapid fire them doesn't make them any less important for you to get for yourself. Pet your cat. Why can't we pet our cat already? Why? Now you can give Nibbles a pat every time you come home. Romance Hangouts Enhanced and Judy, Panam, River and Kerry Romance Enhanced will improve on a bunch of features available when you invite your spouse over for a date or hangout. It will also fix a bunch of issues in the vanilla system as well as add a few more activities to do with your partner when you invite them over or when you visit them in their homes. Not to mention all of these mods are constantly being tweaked and updated for greater user experience. All of these features are so well implemented that it feels like it came with the original game. It's only once you don't have them that you'll realize how bare bones the romance system really is in Cyberpunk. No more spouses acting like statues and standing in place all the time. Even Johnny gets some love, but not in that way. Stop it. The Passenger. One of the newer mods by Deceptius will now allow Johnny to spawn in when you're using a vehicle when driving around Night City. It's just a fun way to hang out with your favorite rebel as he critiques your driving when you're done f***ed up. Johnny will spawn in within a few seconds to a minute when you enter a vehicle or exit combat. A great little immersion boost. And the final touches for more immersive experiences, immersive rippers, immersive food vendors, and immersive bartenders. These three mods will allow you to interact appropriately with NPCs such as sitting down at the Ripper's chair to get your work done, to buying and eating or drinking immersively through dialogue with the vendors throughout Night City, creating a more polished feel to this wonderful sandbox that is Cyberpunk. 
It's all in the small details that paint a complete picture. I am so happy with the turnaround and success of this IP, which even spawned one of my favorite animes, Edge Runners, which you should check out by the way. Here's hoping we go on the up and up with more sequels to this universe, as well as more and more mods that are undoubtedly increase in quality. So if you enjoyed today's biggest video to date, please Adam smash that like button and definitely subscribe. Literally just 1% of you do. Just do it, Chumba. As always, wash your hands, look after each other, and be your very best. Bye for now.